Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you I'm still I'm here trying to figure it out So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Olympiakos against Olympiakos. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beckley. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. So who's he picking out? Here's the delivery. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. That's Brown a day. Otia with a good steal, well played. A good ball. that well looks to slip it through Ball's loose who's getting there brown it a he'd been towards the center Good delivery no joy oh they really wanted that there's so many players in the box everyone's committed to attack now Suaku. Pumps it upfield. Well played, he saw that coming. Olympiakos are enjoying the lion's share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Brown it eh? There's no flag. Tries the volley. Oh, that probably deserved better. Yeah, they have lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. Otia. Brownie Day. It's Brownie Day! Goal! Olympiakos! And Olympiakos score first. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. Olympiakos get themselves into the lead. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. Have to stay focused. So they've got the only goal to make it 1-0. 
It's a loose ball. And it's Brown it in. It's come loose. He's gone for it. What a rocket. That is special. A finish right from the top draw. And they are disappearing out of sight. Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. Olympiakos can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Grounded day with the ball through. Great build-up, it all deserved a better ending. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. There he is, making his presence felt. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Time added on will be two minutes. Omar al Abdullawi. Looking up to see who wants it. And the first 45 minutes are up. Olympiakos go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. Here we go again then. Brown a day. Brown a day. Brown a day. Olympiakos can count themselves very lucky there. They look fragile. Olympiakos with this two-goal lead. Yeah, certainly looking much the more assured side. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Masuaku. Passes it through. Brown it in. Showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Fine defending there. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Masuaku. It's a decent ball. Away from immediate danger. Tries a through ball, back in once more. It's anyone's ball. Omar Al Abdullawi hoist it clear. We've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. And that's surely a foul free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card.
Umar Al Abdullawi is long and forward. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Now the pass. And he's through on goal. And he's there to hoof it away. Omar Al Abdullawi does well to read it and intercepts. Foul, three kicks been given. I don't think the referee has much choice here. Second yellow card, there it is. And the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. be the final act. Olympiakos have won it, as much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. And just to add, usually if you're enjoying good success from the flanks, it will be shut down or disrupted in some way but they deserve great credit for maintaining energy and, and a liveliness to their play. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.